Hello, beautiful people of God. You're very much welcome to this platform of prayer by revelation. Yes, prayer by revelation. It's all about praying by revelation. By the grace of God, I am Evangelist N.M. Lois, and today I'll be bringing you a special session of this book. I'll be bringing you the testimonies, raw, undiluted, powerful, mind-blowing testimonies. So before we do that, grab your popcorn, sit comfortably on your couch because it is going to be another level. And let's dig in. Before we move to the testimonies, I would like you to understand that Jesus Christ is still in the business of miracles. Yes, yes, and yes. Jesus knows the entire miracle. He is still in that business. And he has often been using some stuffs to reach out to his people. You remember in the days of Moses, he used a staff. In the days of Apostle Paul, he would use handkerchiefs. He would use his shadow to heal and deliver his people. And even in the days of our Lord Jesus Christ himself, there came a time he had to mix spittle with mud and tell someone, go and wash your face and you will be made whole. And let's not forget about the pool of Bethesda. You remember the man that was sick for more than 35 years and he had to enter that pool before he could be made whole. Jesus was still around, but there are certain things that he wants to pass through at times to reach out to his people. And today, by the grace of God in our generation, the Lord has given us the prayer by revelation book. Yes, he has given us this. Now, what is this book all about? The prayer by revelation book is a book authored by Prophet Walter N.N who happens to be the founder and overseer of the Champions International House of Prayer, Baminda. The revelation to write this book came to him in the year 2017, and he has been working with the Holy Ghost on how to put it down, the contents and everything that will be a source of healing and deliverance to you. And by the grace of God, in September 2022, the book was finally dedicated in Kampala by fathers of faith and fathers in the Lord, servants of God from all over the continent of Africa. After that, the book was launched in the city of Baminda on the 6th of November 2022. And when God's people grabbed this book and went out with it, a lot of testimonies things have been happening and you know we decided that no we cannot keep this to ourselves no I can't keep it to myself yes and that is why I'm here today so that we will together sit and watch some of these beautiful testimonies from the east west north and south and take note when the man of God came back he had to make a media tour the part one and part two of it which he went on TV and was challenged that this thing we are hearing happening all over the world because when journalists heard about this they said no we have to see this for ourselves so they had to call on him on a live broadcast and gave him an open challenge that okay we know there is a page there page 105 that when people pray with it using their water it delivers them they're passing out poisonous substances and now we want to see it happen in our studio because that happens in Bamenda that happens in other places it happens in your church now we want to see it in our studio and then we're going to believe this and guess what when the man of God was still in the course of praying this prayer on page 105 a lot of things started happening testimonies began flogging in and the journalist was like I am shocked this has not happened before a book and so when this happens, people begin to term it a Bible. No. Oh my God. <laughs> Are you serious? This is not the Bible. Yeah. This is not the Bible. Please. You cannot read this book a page and go through without opening your Bible. This book just opens your mind to a lot of hidden things in the Bible. You know. And this book talks specifically about prayers. If we talk about prayers... Many people don't know how to start prayer, 
how to dive into it, how to end it. And that is why this book is there to give you direction because people have been asking us how we do it and things are happening. Mind you, people have taken this book to their offices, to their houses, to the marketplaces, to the parks, and it has done wonders. And that is what I want us to watch right away. Let's watch. Neighbor's daughter came. I heard her asking my daughter outside, Faith, please for your mother's prayer by revelation. I want to bless water with it and drink. I'm not the one who prayed with the child. You send your daughter. It is my daughter who was praying and she was repeating on the veranda. Then I just told her that after drinking the water, command out, out. That child stood just for some few seconds, started vomiting on my veranda. I have a, a short video of it. <coughs> She gave me the book that carried water from the tub. After 30 minutes, the fibro came out of my tooth. I live in the. I was staying with my sister who fellowship here. She told me that there's a revelation book that just came out. I neglected. I said, ah, I'm tired. I've moved for five months for what I was going through. Because she gave me the book that when I'm going back to Ndor, I should go with it and evangelize. I said, no. Ah. Then that night, that thing started burning me. I said, sister, get up, give me that book. She gave me this book. I went to where there's where that place of water, carry water from the tub. I minister it. I prayed the book of God. After 30 minutes, the fiber came off my tooth. Ah! You can watch your screen. What God cannot do doesn't exist. Thank you, Jesus, for healing me. I want to thank God so much for what he has done for me this evening. It has been two months now. I have not seen my menses. I have not been able to conceive. When I went to the hospital last time, they told me that I have ovarian cysts. I kept on taking medicine to no avail. This book, Prayer by Revelation, has done wonders for me. For the past days, I've been praying with this book, using the water, following the prayers on page 105. And in this evening, this is what came out of me, Papa. Papa, good evening. I want to talk about the book for Revelation. Papa, I want to tell you, say, I don't read and read for chapter 3. I want to read and finish my belly. My skin to shake, my belly to turn for inside the fire. They say, I enter the toilet. As for me, they come. They say, I would push, not push. Papa, if I tell you, I want to touch my belly, they say, my blood don't empty in taste and even this and my belly again. I don't shit my life. I don't finish proper right now what they tell you. They the fire they say my belly. Thank you for that book for revolution. Thank you, Papa. Now you have one test to fight. I open one place there that anything that you have eaten in the dream, let it come out in the name of Jesus. Let it flush out in the name of Jesus. Then I started commenting. By revelation, <laughs> I have not touched her, she touched just prayer by revelation, and she has not even opened. People of God, I was even talking to the other sister, she the one manifesting, not a touch. That is what God alone can do when you talk to people, they can never understand. And Jesus is king, hello, man of God. After using this prayer book to pray right in my office this morning, this is what that came out from my body this morning. After using this prayer book to pray this morning in my office, this is what that came out. To the glory of God, I'm fine. Thank you, Jesus. What happened to me this last two weeks has been miraculous. I've never seen this in my life before. For the past 12 years, I've had three passports. No visa. And when I got into the church, the first person that was prophesied to was me. He told me that I should fast. In my mind, I was thinking that if this thing doesn't work, it means that the pastor will be disgraced. The very next day, we were about 20 of us on the line. They gave five people visa. Opened my own passport and I saw a visa there. See where I keep it. This is where I keep it. I've been possessing my documents for more than a year today. I even went to the interview the first time. Going to four years today, I failed. But as I came to Bamenda, you prayed for me and gave me that prayer by revelation. I came and I read that book. 
my daughter called me who is already in us and said that they have given a day for interview after a very long time after she finally came and made the man of god and testified this is what happened as she went back daddy praise the lord that visa has finally been granted i'm now in the u.s embassy papa morning i did dubai we get some problem last week for my work where they work with my big man so he moved me for the place so now the problem that we get on papa i say my summit for you I want to give my testimony that yesterday, Papa, as you talk for me, it won't be 7 to 8 o'clock. That people there of our office, they call me, say, I don't get a new contract where they want to send me for the Papa. So I already start work. Good morning, man of God. I want to testify what God did to me through this prayer by revelation. This morning at work, I took 10 minutes to rest. Then I picked up the book and was reading page 105. Then I took my water and opened it and was praying because I'm having high blood pressure. So the prayer said we should breathe in and out. And immediately my stomach started making noise, some unusual noise. Then I went to the toilet and passed out some objects. So I want to thank God for using you to reach out to many people in the world. I live in Germany. Thank God. Good evening, champion. This word has happened to me as I read the book of revelation i open to page 105 then i follow the prayer follow the instruction this is what happened to me it was only that i should only to vomit the force was just pressurizing me in a way I, this is what i vomit i want to tell the man of god prophet water in a thank you jesus i was uh, meditating in the morning because the book is always with me. The Holy Spirit said, take your book. And I asked everybody to lift up the altar and they lifted it up. I prayed as uh, the prayer by revelation directed. After I asked them to take the water, when they see the water, things started leaving, people coming up, people start vomiting. The direction to which people were, were, were vomiting was more than before. That is why I call it a mantle, because any mantle that is received must perform double. Every time we come, the way they pray, I didn't open my heart, very plain. And why would they see they ever hold me? And the pastor will not say pray for me, intensify me, something the way they will reward me. The way they intensify that day, they make me a day fine. So they, they take me for work inside a week where I don't work there for eight years. I never ever get work, but now so I didn't work permanent work. I thank the man of God, Pastor Enen Waters, for the book of Revelation. It has really helped me. I just bought this book but yesterday from one of my brother in the Lord. I read it right to about page 20. I was really blessed because I was reading the book. I felt a wonderful power on the book. I was not even able to lift up the book. I started feeling weak. I feel like passing out. I, by not even reaching the pocket, I started vomiting. I vomited until my body was so weak. Just begin to talk that prayer. Begin to talk that prayer. Begin to talk that prayer. Talk that prayer. Talk that prayer for some time. When I will see how some people will start bitch. Some people them their belly will start turn. Man of God, it don't put power inside that water through this book. Hey, look at that one. Look at, look at, look at. Look at. Are you not some? You not some? You not some? Before I even talk, you see what they come up with the picky belly. When I take for the Jesus, they for here in the first place where you had open. Some more picky way God don't bring me. You had to be open. God is on the picky belly. Yeah, good evening, man of God. As we're praying, I held the water and my hand and my hand started shaking and the water was shaking. It was burging, yawning, and then uh, salivation. I had that secretions of the saliva. That live testimonies. I'm shocked there. Eh? We are live. I am not one? dead. And you just prayed over water. And these are the testimonies that people are sending from across the nation. Let the anointing power of God let the anointing power water. of in God come into this Jesus water in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Call it by name. That means that at this juncture, you are going to mention anything you saw yourself eating in your dream. You are going to call it by name. Or anywhere you saw yourself locked up eating it. You know, so that the silence in the spirit of God and observe silence. It's not that I'm just testifying about the moment. 
I vomited on removed substances in my stomach because since in the night that I followed the instruction of the man of God, me and my husband, I was not feeling normal. But I started to yawn, I yawn, I felt as, as to vomit that same night, but nothing came up. Is this morning that my own reaction started? Some, it happens instantly. Mm. For some people, they start reacting the next day. Good morning, oh man of God. Yesterday, I followed the program online on my media prime. I was suffering from gastric. Even my stomach used to just sit and swell. So I was planning to go to the hospital. And so I followed your prayers and you blessed the water. Behold, when I drank the water, my stomach started turning. I had to go to the toilet. I vomited until this morning. I had serious running stomach. So since last night till this morning, I've not felt the pains again. Last three weeks, my neighbors was really sick. When she wants to go and pull, the pool will not come out through her anus. The pool is coming out but through her private. When she came back and she was telling her, she was really crying. I told her that I have something here that will help her. In the morning that she was going for the operation, I gave her the book. When she went there, they went and checked her. They said they are not seeing anything. They will not operate her again. Celebrate in the name of Jesus. I was called that my mother was sick yes. to the extent that she could not talk, yes. that her BP was so high. I took uh, my son, he okay. was nine years old, we went to the hospital. He took this book, that's how he was praying on my mother's head. My mother was sweating. My mother that could not utter a word. When he prayed, he said, Mama, say Amen. Mommy turned and looked at him and said, Amen. Everybody, that's how the nurses, the doctors came. They were gathered. They said, which can I pick me? This is how he come out. It was on Friday. I went to my shop. If I entered the shop, and one of my customer, customers were in the shop. Immediately, I, I approached the shop. I had to enter my shop. She was standing on the door. He sent his hand to collect because I was in my prayer by relation. He said, please, that book. I gave him the book. His hand started shaking. His hand started shaking. Even yesterday, he came again. In the, in the, in the evening, the hand is still shaking. The hey. hand is still shaking with the book. I told him to go with the book. Let him just go and be praying with the book. I came back from work on Friday. My sister called me in the evening. That something is happening from his house in Mulan. When we reached there, I saw one lady like this one fell down. I began to roll, shouting. I saw the way people are praying there. They do not take prayer by revelation. They were not praying by revelation? Yes. After that, I said they should stop. They stopped. I used this prayer by revelation book and started my own prayer with this prayer by revelation. Automatically, this book delivered that child. And the child is in the church here. It was you? It was my... This child? Yes. So you see, there are so many different testimonies from all over the world. Now, if we have to sit here, we have to summarize it 30 seconds each because if we have to sit here to watch everything, we are going to sleep here and wake up next month. So... All glory be unto God who is passing through this book to bless his people. In our generation today, God has given this mandate. If you have this in your house, you don't need to call on the prophet when you have a sick person beside you. When anything is going wrong, you can use this book and God pass through it to bless you. There are prayers for everything. Prayer for pregnant women, for women in labor, prayer for everything. In short, it works in every domain of life. It works in marriages, it works in homes, it works over children, it works in schools, it works health-wise and in every other domain you can ever think of because there is a right way to pray for God to answer. You don't just come before God and you're disordered in your prayer. You want to start a prayer, you start by take it away from me, O Lord, singing, Lord, take it away from me. That's not prayer. You're already diving without thanking God, without, you know, doing the necessary and basic things that you need to do when you look at the champions house of prayer by the grace of god god has been doing so many wonderful things and people don't understand the secret and now this is the secret we are bringing to you here don't go without your copy make sure you grab your copy if you need a copy it's a token in short this book is not for sale i repeat it is not for sale yeah just connect to us and you have your own a granite seller can get this book because it is as affordable as possible. You can get us on 676-570-021. You can equally get us on 677 Mind you, this book is 
also in English and in French. Ouh, bravo. Bravo pour mes frères franco. Oui, vous avez aussi pour vous prière par révélation. Si vous êtes à Bafoussam, si vous êtes à Yaoundé, n'importe où ce que vous êtes, c'est possible d'avoir ça. Vous priez avec et tout sera possible. Vous avez vu les témoignages, vous avez vu tout ce qu'on a regardé ici. Donc vous êtes convaincu, n'est-ce pas? And even if you're out of the country, it is not a limit. THL is there to do the transaction for you. You just need to contact us, WhatsApp us. All these numbers are on WhatsApp. Just WhatsApp us and we'll get the books to you right at your doorstep. It is very, very possible. Hold on. Are you still sitting on your couch and watching? You need to rush and grab your own copy. Come on, give us a call and you will have your copy where you are. Thank you. Before I go, let me give you some very important announcements. 14th of April, 2023, we are having prayers. The man of God is organizing prayers for all GCE candidates, ordinary level, advanced level, and even those that are going in for public exams. Please don't miss out on this. No, you can't afford to miss it. So, endeavor to be there. Invite your families, your friends, your people, and all those that you know have maybe been trying and it hasn't been going through. Maybe they have been failing severally. It is the time for God to manifest. Maybe they have tried other things. Let them try God. Please try God. And you discover that God is that one person that never fails. So come 14 April 2023 at 2 p.m. and receive your papers. Whatever number of papers you want, God is already depositing it for you. And let's skip and go to August. August fruit of the womb service. August is our fruitful month here in the Champions International House of Prayer where the man of God prays for women who are seeking for the fruit of the womb. And we also have child dedication on that same day so you can understand how children are being released on that day. Do not miss out. When the time will be approaching we will give you the day, the time and everything that you need every information. So just stay glued and receive the blessings that await you through the Champions International of Prayer and his seventh prophet Walter. And, and I'll be leaving you now, but uh, I will leave you with some few testimonies from the past GCE prayers and also from the Fruit of the Womb service. Thank you, Stabless. I have been Evangelist NM Lois reporting. God bless you. Ciao. Last year I was in Douala, I filled all the papers I wrote. Hey. But after connecting to this ministry in A level, I passed all the files. Oh, yeah. oh. This is the time that I go into the advanced level. Us, my God, pray and deliver me. I have six papers. Oh. He passed the GC. He passed the GC. The third time that is writing. He passed the GC. He passed. After prayer. Yes, after prayer, man of God. After prayer, he passed. He passed six of us. Six out of seven in A levels. Look at somebody. The devil thinks that he controls his life. I can remember that day. He was the first person that deliverance started on. After his deliverance, he has passed the GC. The devil did not be controlling him, but to show you that with God. Actually, I was not there for the service that was, that was held here. My mother came and stood the gap for me, and I registered ten papers, and I had the, uh, the highest in my school. You had all the ten papers. You are the highest in your school. Celebrate that name! Celebrate that name! Celebrate that name!
Last year I wrote a GC and I, I registered nine papers and I had three papers. This year when my auntie yeah, So you fell? Yes, I failed last year with three papers. My auntie yeah, she took me for that process on that Friday. As we as we left from here, yeah, I went back home and I, I slept that night. I had a dream. I fought with a lady. I never knew the lady. I just woke up that morning. I told myself that that lady was failure. I have fought with failure and I won the battle. I wrote the GCE this year. I had 10 papers. I, had, I registered 10. I had all the 10 papers. Yes! I'm the highest in my school. Last year I, wrote, I registered 11 papers. I had 2. But this year I registered 10 and I had 7 papers. On that day, we were asked to come here for prayers and some of my classmates were advising. And when I was about coming, some people said, Sit down for I a have while. sense that I want that my testimony to school. Would continue to jubilate. I said, ha, even if I have sense, I have to go and pray to God now. And actually, God favored me because this is the third year. Hey. This is the third year that I've been writing. The oh. first year I wrote two papers. The second year again, two papers. I failed eight papers. And this year, I have all the eight papers that I've oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Ah! It's my first year of writing and God bless me with 10 papers. 10 papers! Celebrate the name of Jesus! It's my first year of writing and I had 11 papers. 11! I didn't even know that I'm going to make it go. I was already giving up until the man of God said uh, we have to come for the GC writers, they have prayers. And when I for said, a special prayer for those who are going for GCE. Yes, I attended it and uh, the man of God delivered me. The spirit in me said so many things that I was even surprised. So the man of God kept on praying for me, kept on praying, kept on praying. Even came a point that when he was going to the GCE, the man of God came in my dream and gave me speco and he cashed. <laughs> My son scored five A level papers. Three A's and two B's. And he has the best results for GTH and Pameda. I registered 10 papers, ordinary level, and the results came out. I have all my 10 papers. So now, brother Jesus! Yeah. I have 98 grades and 1B. Hey, hey, hey. I was sick from February till two weeks to the GCE. And I came for counseling, and the prof, Prof. Walter and N. Told me and my mother that I should go in for the exam and that I should have faith, I will pass. All hopes were gone. Nobody had faith in me except my mother that stood by me. And by the grace of God, I had five people. <laughs> Before 2018, I was already having a problem with my womb because there was a time I menstruated for nine months completely. So when I went to the hospital, I complained. They told me that I am having a problem. How I wish that same doctor is watching me today. He told me that even if I like, I read all Quran, the whole Bible, I will never conceive. Read Quran, read the whole Bible, you will never have a child. Yes, that is what the doctor told me. So he put a machine on your stomach and saw the damage yes. and said this stomach will never carry a child. Yes. That day I was in the hospital with my mother. So when the man said it like that, my mother said, why are you saying like that? The man, the doctor told my mother that, madam, it's because even if a man ejaculates inside the drunk food, the love is your daughter, then she will never get pregnant. Mm -hmm. So we were so discouraged. When I finally met my husband, I called my mom that I have found a husband that wants to be married. My mother refused. She said, no. I already know my situation that I can never conceive. She don't want something that I will pay a bright price today and tomorrow she's refunding it. And now, when you wear, child has come. Child has come. Celebrate the name of Jesus Christ. Well.
for those that know me that they are watching my deliverance, a spirit was always confessing and asking that why is the man of God wasting his time that he seeing that I don't have a womb. But to the glory of God, at the end of the day, I became pregnant. When I was seeking for the fruits of the womb, it was never easy for me. When I see someone to just bring up a topic, the person that knew that that's what I was going through, that when you find you're not getting it, so you're not easy. Eh? When the person is talking, the person will look at me with the corner of the eye. I want to tell you that all those things put them behind you. Have faith in God. Put your trust in God. If you are connected to this service, know that you are connected in the right place. And God will see you through the same way He saw me through Jesus' name. Yeah. Since 2015, my mother caused me that I will never have a child. Mm. Even if I deliver five children, they will die. But since your unborn mother, yes, my it caused you that you yes. never carry a child. Yes, but see, one of my colleagues located me this place, and I came here, man of God, pray for me, and now I'm pregnant. Hallelujah. It was 2019 that I came to this church, got married. Mm. After that, I started looking for the fruit of the womb. I called daddy and said, daddy, please, I need, I have, I need a child. Daddy said that I will pray for you. What do you do to her before I deliver her? I promise that she will never get married. She will never enjoy the fruit of the womb. You tell me that she will never get married? Yes. So when I deliver her, is she married now? So I've told you married. Exactly. And now you also plan that she will never have a fruit of the womb. Yes, I said that. Uh, after I deliver her, is she pregnant? Yes. How many months? Almost eight. Daddy prayed and I was it was so surprising. Everything that I delivered like a new book. Celebrate the name of Jesus. I located this place through my neighbor. As she was coming here, I followed her to this place. Man of God, I promise when I it was four years, two to five years. I was not pregnant, but I was. And you not have a child. Yes, I promise God that when you place me with a child, I will make sure that the whole world. I did not know that I would locate a place like this, mm -hmm. and the whole world will watch me as I'm standing here giving dedication. Uh, uh, Before coming here, we have been married for three years. We had no child, so from that day, the man of God prayed for us, and we, I got pregnant. I went and met the the gynecologist. Then the gynecologist says there is no way that this child can survive in my stomach up to the 15. The doctor said the 15 should not pass, that they have not done the operation because the water in my stomach is already small. That after that 15, I should just be ready to come and remove the cups and throw. That was what they told me. They said if they do not operate, they will only remove the cups and throw. Yes, I went again. Few days now that you are Few supposed days. to deliver. Yes, I when now uh, this is 12 April. Yes. 12 is last week, right? It was now showing that the baby is preached. Eh? Yes. When we have reached the general hospital, the, the, the midwife said that this one that she's taking like this is rich. Because nobody has ever, it has never happened that somebody that the baby come out through the uh, using the buttocks to come out. But see, I want to say they say that the putters and the testes are out. <laughs> and after the midwife came and was telling me that I said that my God is really powerful. That this thing has never happened. When I conceived the child, I was passing through a lot of attack. If not because of Papa in 2020, I was pregnant. But I did follow the advice of the man of God and lost that child. Mm. 2021, I was pregnant again. Starting with the advice that Daddy gave me, I have the child today. It's by mm. the grace of God. Before conceiving, I went to the hospital. There was a lot of attacks. See me here today. I'm the woman who gave birth in the car, the champion car. So I'm in the, the car of the man of God. Yes, I'm the woman. Celebrate the name of Jesus. To conceive, it was another problem. Another problem to conceive child. Another problem. She took in the first time miscarriage. It went. He took him the second time, miscarriage. Ah. He took him the third time, the child died. Ah. I went on my knees and said, God, what is this? He said she's not getting married. Ah. Yes. Ah. So you have decided to do what? 
Não é possível. 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 Não é possi that she's coming up and we're going to meet there. Let's fellowship there. I had to come reluctantly. Just as I sat there during mass prayer, Papa was praying. Speed was coming. I said, no, I think these people are acting. I don't think I can. Out of a sudden, I discovered that speed was coming to my mouth. I if I should throw up. I said, no, I will not. Oh. I kept swallowing. I said, hey, mm, I don't think this is what I should do. Honestly, I could no longer hold it. I was forced to speak, mm. but to my greatest surprise, that same month, as God will have it, people of God, mm. I was pregnant. Ay, 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 ay. This is the child, the champion child. Tell them the name of Jesus. Yeah.